I'm Marin, and this is Post-Its and Pens. Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be a new to me video wherein I take you on a shopping trip to Target. So let's go ahead and do some shopping. Once we're done, I am going to talk to you about everything I picked up. So I do have my bags next to me right here. I am not going to show you like the general household type items and the food items because I did pick that up, but I am gonna go through everything else and do like a little Target haul to uh, close out this video. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and now we're gonna dive in and take a look at what I purchased. I have four bags here. So we're just going to dive on in. I'm gonna start with clothing because I did pick up several things for my students so I'll talk about those at the end but I did pick up three things they had this purple top from um, Universal Thread on clearance it's a very soft fabric and it is still incredibly hot here so I'm still gonna get quite a bit of use out of this and it looks super cute so I can wear that with jeans and dress pants whatever so that was the first thing that I picked up you saw me grab that the other one you saw me grab is this sweatshirt so it says it's a fleece sweatshirt it is not um, super thick it's pretty thin this is the a new day brand I got a large just so it's a little bit baggier but it is like this um, three-quarter zip it has a snap here if you want to like close it up and it's this very pretty pink color they had several colors but I'm always partial to pink so that's the one I grabbed and then the last clothing item I did not show this is a sweater that I saw like on an end cap this is the Knox Rose brand I noticed they've changed or they're changing their label so it looks a little bit different but it's this cardigan it's an open cardigan, a long one with this kind of um, very fall color scheme. So I picked that up as well. I'm a big fan of cardigans. I own quite a few of them, but some of them need to be replaced. So I'm glad I found that one. That one was not on sale. It was full price, as was the pink sweatshirt. I will try to link everything I found down below in case you're curious. 
So I did take a tour through my Target's Halloween section. They're not fully stocked yet, obviously, but um, they had a pretty good amount of stuff. So I picked up two packs of these little treat bags. There are 12 in a pack. So I have 24 students, picked up two packs. If I get more students, I'll just go back and get them because I know that these will not run out. I also picked up these little activity books. Again, 12 to a pack, so I got two. And then same thing with the slime. It's 12 to a pack, so I picked up two of those. And that's going to be my little um, Halloween gift for my students, along with these straws, which I found in Bullseye's Playground. Now, I picked up several packs of these, uh, nine of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them, actually. So I have 30 of these straws. But I wanted to go ahead and grab them because stuff does not last a very long time in our Bullseye's Playground, and there is no guarantee that they are ever going to restock with, like, specific things. So I went ahead and picked these up. It was a dollar for three, um, ten dollars for this, so... I'm not too fussed about it, but this and the slime and the little activity book are going to go in the little gift bag, and that's going to be my student's Halloween gift. I'm not doing candy just because they're going to get enough of that if, if they go trick-or-treating, so I wanted like non-candy gifts to give out, so um, that's what I did. I also picked up two books, as you saw. The first one is The Librarian Spy by Madeline Martin. This tells the story of a woman who is a librarian at the Library of Congress. And basically, she gets an offer from the U.S. military, and she's supposed to pose as a librarian while working undercover as a spy gathering intelligence. And then there is another woman, so it's dual perspective, I guess. And um, yeah, I'm very intrigued. I like historical fiction. I like anything having to do with World War II. So I saw this one, picked it up. I'd seen it before, but I decided to grab it. And then I also picked up the new Allie Hazelwood book, Love on the Brain. Now, I have not read The Love Hypothesis. I think I'm like one of the only people in the entire universe not to have read that yet. But I was going to pick that one up as well, but they did not have that one. But I saw this one, decided to go ahead and pick it up. Hopefully I will enjoy it and um, she can become like a new favorite author. I've been reading a lot more adult romance this year and I've been enjoying everything I've read. So hopefully this will be the same, but I did pick this one up as well. Going back to Halloween, um, I found this little like cling for your window. If you can see, it's got a cat, it's got a skull, and then some bats and some stars. Happy Halloween. So I'll put that on my window. My window does face out um, into the parking lot where the students come in for car riders. So they will like that. I also found this cute little hand towel set, again, from Bullseye's Playground. This was $5. It's upside down. Sorry. Um, so it says Happy Halloween, and then the other side just has jack-o'-lanterns. So I picked that up. And... I also found these cute little gift tags, which will go on the bags for my coworkers. I saw this little rainbow USB wall charger. Um, and if you know anything about my classroom, you know that it's got a lot of rainbows, like the boho rainbow muted colors. And this fits really nicely with that. So I thought I would go ahead and grab this. That one was $5 as well. And then I picked up two makeup type items. I need a new sponge. Mine are looking pretty nasty. I'm not able to get them all the way clean now, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of them away and replace it with a new one. And then I've been wanting to try this um, Beauty Bakery setting powder. This is the translucent one. It comes in this cute little um, thing, you know, like you're buying a bag of flour. But I've been wanting to try this one. I've seen the other colors at Target a lot, but the translucent was always sold out. So I saw that it was there. So I went ahead and grabbed it because if you are following any of my makeup videos, I am on the hunt for a new favorite setting powder. So I'm kind of trying a bunch of different ones. I have a Nakia Joy's powder right now, which I do like, 
but um, it's kind of expensive. So, you know, if I can find something a little bit less expensive that works just as well, I'm gonna go that route. So I also picked that up. Okay, then I picked up some larger size band-aids. They're like real this size because I um, sliced my elbow open on this metal thing that sticks out from the wall at school in the hallway. And um, yeah, uh, instead of doing three band-aids, I just figured I would pick up like a larger size and um, use that. So I picked up one pack of those. There's 10 of them in there. I also really love the Dots candy, and at Halloween they come out with the ghost ones. It's the same flavors, they just all look the same, so it's like a surprise. But um, saw that, picked that up. These are my favorite non-chocolate candy. I love Dots. And then if you were following my Friday in my kindergarten teacher life video that I did, which I'll link up above, you'll know that I was on the hunt for red folders. I had gone to Target and they were out of them, so I wound up at Office Depot but they're much more expensive. Office Max, not Office Depot. Office Max, they're much more expensive there. And when I went today, Target had theirs back and they were only 59 cents. So I went ahead and picked up five more. So now I have 30 of them um, just in case because I noticed a couple of them are probably gonna need to be replaced because like the pocket is coming undone. So I went ahead and grabbed those as well since they had them. And then the last thing that I purchased was a big like wall calendar that's for January 2023 because I like to put my YouTube schedule on this so that I can hang it and see it and know like what I'm supposed to be filming and when. So I found this at Target, picked that one up as well. This one's just a 12 month, so January to December of 2023 because the one that I have was uh, July 2021 through December 2022. So obviously I'm gonna need a new one. I'm a planner. I like to really think things out. Like I'm already thinking about book challenges and stuff for next year. So I wanted to go ahead and pick this up so that I can start kind of like jotting down when I might want to upload certain videos and things like that. So um, picked that up. So anyway, yes, that was my uh, Target haul, my little trip to Target. I know this video wasn't terribly long, but I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and shopping nonetheless. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.